I don't know why I'm excited to talk about this, but I am. These are the five habits that'll help you become an expert dialysis nurse. I did not start out as an expert. No, I did not. I was a beginner just like you. I was, and I still have room to grow. Absolutely. And when I talk about these habits, I am talking about progress, not perfection. I do not practice these five habits perfectly. I am not the perfect dialysis nurse. If you work with me, you know it. But these are the things that I try to do to find joy in my job, to help others and make, and just to like make progress in my nursing career. Number one, number one habit is just say yes. If somebody is asking you to fill in as a unit clerk, as a peritoneal dialysis nurse, if they need help at care conferences, say yes, even if you don't know how to do it. You figure it out or someone will help you through it because you'll just be like, hey, yeah, I can help with that. I've never done that before, but I'm willing to learn and everything will just take off from there. If there is a tech shift open, fill it. If they let a nurse work in the tech, in the tech position, take it because that you will learn how to cannulate so fast. And the other thing is that when people need help, help them say yes. Whether it's a new nurse needing to be trained, a new tech needing, needing to be trained, say yes. The more that I help others, the more that I learn. I learn a lot from helping others because they ask a lot of good questions and then either if I don't know it, I'll find out or sometimes they can just see things a different way. Anybody needs help cannulating? I'll be like, hey, Lindsay, can you cannulate this person? I wasn't always, I still, I still miss sometimes. I wasn't always like a great cannulator. It took me a while. It took a lot of practice putting those needles into fistulas before I got comfortable. And by saying yes, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, getting better. And that is one habit that will help you become an expert dialysis nurse. The other one, number two, number two habit of an expert dialysis nurse is becoming certified, becoming a certified dialysis nurse. I, generally, you need two years of experience, 2000 hours of di dialysis or nephrology nursing experience. And when I studied for that exam, I'm se almost seven years into dialysis nursing. I took that exam two years into my practice and that was like a level up in my dialysis knowledge. That is really where I, I found a change in my practice where I saw myself really getting more comfortable in as a dialysis nurse. So if that is something you're interested in, I have a video about becoming a certified dialysis nurse. Please check it out. Habit number three of an expert dialysis nurse is get involved. If they need an access manager, say, yes, I'll do that. If they, if you guys have transonics and you need, and they need help doing transonics on the unit, do that. You will learn so much about fistulas as like the person that does the transonic collaborative practice. If they're, whatever kind of educational offerings they're doing, like get involved collaborative practice like a skills day instead of like participating in it maybe you can run a skills day and if you're not quite there yet just go to those all those extracurricular activities get involved in those gosh gosh what kind of things are offered on a lot of the units access manager transonic collaborative practice skills day i guess that's all i can think of but that it's it's endless even if it's outside of the unit if there's like a town hall meeting or housewife council, any of those events, get involved if, and you're just going to really get a, like a, just a great base of knowledge of how the unit is run and what, what they're looking for in things. The number four habit, the number four habit of an expert dialysis nurse is becoming friends with the auxiliary staff. I know I'm sure this one surprises you, but it has helped me so much to become friends with a dietitian. I've learned a lot about food, about different medications, about what like surprise foods to look for. They also help me find labs that need to be rechecked. It is it has been an asset by making friends with my dietitian. It makes my job easier. Same with the social worker. They they have such they know so much about the community resources, transportation, any kind of family dynamics that might be affecting their care. It has changed my nursing practice and my like core nursing knowledge by becoming friends with them and learning what they know because they're the experts at what they do. Biomed, they're the ones that fix our machines. They will tell you if you want to know anything about those machines and the inner workings of that, ask that biomed person. They will talk your ear off and you will learn you, you will learn a lot. And the final, the final habit, the number five habit of an expert dialysis nurse is to ask 
questions and ask anyone questions. And for me, when I wrote this habit, I thought about things that I was weak some of my like weak knowledge base uh, as a dialysis nurse was transplant. I did not know a lot about transplant. I don't work in a dialysis, in a transplant center. I had I get a lot of patients that ask questions about transplants and I didn't I didn't know anything. So what did I do? I asked patients about what they've been going through for their, what do you have to do to be on the transplant list? Or sometimes people come back after a transplant, tell me what the process was like. I've, I've learned a lot like and by asking those patients questions about their transplant, I was able to give knowledge to new patients that had questions about their transplant. Like, what are some of the transplant requirements? What are the visits like? How much time, like, what are some of the barriers? What is the time commitment to get a transplant, to be on the wait list? Because, you know, these people on dialysis, they're here three times a week, three to four hours at a time. So that that's already taking up a big chunk of time. And now they have to do appointments. And sometimes you have to drive. If you don't have a transplant center in your like vicinity, you might have to drive a couple hours to do the workup. Questions that kind of pop into my head was saying that is sometimes they do outreach. Sometimes people from wherever the transplant center is will come to your small town and do and do outreach. So that helps the patients with, with transportation. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought of, I thought of get involved. Number three, get involved. The water room, get involved with that water room. When your water treatment, people come to help with your water room, get like, ask them questions. They will tell you things that you couldn't have even imagined they do to purify water. The more you get into dialysis and the niche and actually just what dialysis needs to be up and running it is it is there is it is non-stop like look at how many videos that I have been able to do on dialysis nursing alone the water room the machines the fistulas the catheters the labs the meds like it is it is a niche and I when I say niche you think it's just this a small little like subset of things but it's it's a little subset and then it's just it's kind of like a glacier how you think it's just this like glacier on top of the water and then you go under and it's just this like amazing amazing feature that's that is how I think of dialysis I can't believe I've never used that analogy before but that that is what it is so those are the five five habits of an expert dialysis nurse those are the things that I try to live by and I'm looking for I practice progress, not perfection. I, I don't beat myself up if I don't practice it perfectly. I apologize to staff when I need to. It just, it's such a tight knit team and I'm so grateful that I've, I've been in the dialysis field for as long as I have. Um, if you're a dialysis tech and you want to be an expert dialysis tech, watch for that video. I've got you next. Thank you all for watching.